sure we've all got plenty of things that we would like to say to the narcissist and this video is going to have a look at those in more detail. Nurturing Case channel. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed. If you haven't done so yet, please do click the subscribe button for me. It does help me to reach more people. Today I want to talk about things to say to the narcissist and I'm going to be honest, this has come about because, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of conversations in my head with them. Things I wish I'd said, things if I saw them again that I'd say, things that I probably never would actually say, like the real root of it, the real, the anger, the frustration. So I wanted to, I wanted to do a video about it because I get, I guess if I'm doing it, probably you guys are as well. So for me, some of the things that I really would like to have said are that you can try and be me, but you never will be. We are complete opposites. But you can copy me, you can imitate me, but you'll never be me. It's impossible. And this is a characteristic of the narcissist, is that they take on someone else's character. They basically try and bleed you of your character and take it on themselves because they're totally inauthentic. They have this false self and... So they just borrow bits from everyone else. And whilst I suppose on one level it's flattering, it's actually incredibly creepy and dangerous. For those of you who have ever seen a single white female, that's the level I'm talking about. These people have no idea who they are and they think that if they become you, then they can have your life. And it doesn't work like that, does it? You're you because of all the things that you've been through. You're you because of your childhood experiences, your perspective on life, your everything. Your, back down to your basic biology. It's all unique. And they don't get that, so they try and steal it. And that, that's one thing I really want to say is that you'll never be me. Stop trying. If you can't be happy being you, don't steal my personality. Don't steal things that I do. That's, I, I hate it. Don't do it. You're not welcome. And it's pathetic. Another thing that I would really like to say is that they think they've won. They think they've won because I've gone quiet. Uh, although I'm doing this, I'm not, I've not tried to interact with them at all. I've walked away very, very calm and quietly and they and they think they've won and that's fine they can think that but they'll never win because they can't get in here they can't get in my heart and they can't get in my head so no matter what they think they've achieved they've not broken me they'll never break me they've just given me strength they made me stronger they made me more determined to have an amazing life so thank you Thank you, narcissist, for making me this, for, for giving me this strength, for giving me this determination. You'll never beat me. You'll know about what you do and what you think that you've done. You'll never beat me. And I hope so many of you out there can re uh, resonate with that. I hope that you feel that way too. That actually, although on the surface it may look as though they've won some, some level of the battle, they will never win. They'll never win because they are empty people and you are not. You are full. You are full of love. You are full of joy. You are full of hope. You are full of promise. And they're not. So you will always win. Always. I really hope that you can feel that. One of the, the final thing that I, I really want to say is that I I feel sorry for you. And that's not easy for me to say, if I'm honest, because I've still got a lot of 
I've still got a lot of negative emotions. I have days where I am okay, totally at peace, and I can have that sympathy. And I, I'm having a day today where I'm not quite in that place. I have those feelings of anger and frustration are bubbling to the surface, hence why I'm doing this video. Um, but I do feel sorry for narcissists because they won't ever have what we have. They'll never experience love. They'll never know what that feels like to look into the eyes of that person that you love. Sorry. And to know that they love you so deeply. They'll never have that because they don't feel that for themselves. So they'll never feel it from another person. But you will. You will move past all of this and you will meet that wonderful person who will look at you in that way. And you will feel that to your very core. And they will never have that. And I feel sorry for them because of that. They will never, never experience the joy at seeing their children laugh and play. Because all they're thinking about is, is anyone watching? What does this say about me? Are they making a mess? They're just they're always looking for the negative or how it can make them look better. And for that, I feel sorry for them. And I think... When we get to that point, like I say, I I still have up and down days. Most of the time I try and have that stance. I try and feel that empathy towards them. I try and look at it from that perspective that they are to be pitied. They are to be, um, you are to, they are to have sympathy for them because they are essentially incredibly broken and they are inadequate. And you're not. And I'm not, and so recognizing that it gives you, it empowers you, and it makes you that better person. It's all the qualities that you are, all the things that you are. You're not hate, you're not nastiness, you're not revenge. That's not you. That's them. So when you can let go of those things and you can feel that sympathy, that empathy, that's you being the true you, and hopefully you will get to that point. Or you'll have more days that are like that and less days with the anger. If you are struggling to find your voice and to say what you want to do and be more assertive, do grab a copy of my Find Your Voice booklet. It hopefully will help you move forward with more assertiveness in your life. I really hope this video has helped. I'd love to hear what would you say? What would you say if you had a free chance to say something to them and you knew there would be no response, you could freely say it without it turning into an argument, what would you say to them? I really would like to know. If you don't feel comfortable commenting below, please do get in touch on email. It's inquiries at thenurturingcoach.co.uk. Do feel free to share the video with anyone you think it might help. Um, liking and commenting does help. And like I say, do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, huge thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.